Well done showing up. My name is Mary. This is Hit. You just need a mat and a couple of dumbbells. Let's get started with a warm up. We're just going to start by rolling the shoulders, getting the joints loosened up. And then starting to turn from side to side, lifting the back heel to allow yourself to kind of pivot on the toe. And you can add a reach, stretching out the shoulders and the back. Let's reach up. Very good. We're going to try leg swings. So see if you can stand in one spot. If you need to hold on to something, feel free. We're just swinging the leg front and back. It's okay to wobble. I probably have my share of <laughs> wobbling as well. Just loosening up the hip here. All right, let's go to the other side. Again, feel free to hold on to something, whether it's a wall or a chair. Very good. All right, rear lunges now. Stepping back and just bending the knees. You choose the depth. Try to have toes facing straight ahead. Now side to side lunge, sitting the hips back, keeping the chest lifted. Once more on each side, and then marching, lifting the knees, arms coming up and down. Blood flowing. Very good, and then kicking forward. It doesn't have to be high, just starting to get a little bit more of a stretch in the back of the leg. Keep chest lifted, but feel free to reach towards your toe if you want. Again, doesn't have to be high. It's just about getting what is the right amount of stretch for you right now. Very good. All right, let's come to the edge of our mat. Bending our knees, we're just gonna ease onto the mat, putting weight in our palms, and slowly walking out to a high plank position. You can be on your knees if you want. Just gonna hold here for a couple more seconds, and then bring the back leg forward if you can, and try rotating toward the bent knee. And stretch. And then hand down, See if you can rotate away from that knee. Good. All right, step the foot back. Other one comes forward, rotate toward the bent knee. And place that hand down, try to rotate away from that bent knee. Just kind of stretch in the back. All right, you can step your feet back. Let's walk the hands back and roll up to standing. All right, moving into our first circuit. Four circuits total, each circuit has three exercises and we'll do each circuit three times. We've got this. For the first exercise, it's a rotation chest pass. We're not actually passing anything, but you can imagine that you have a ball or something and you're throwing it from your chest to your friend. All right, 40 seconds, you choose the pace. Staying low, the more powerful you are with it, the more challenging and intense it'll be. All right, let's start this in five seconds. Again, 40 seconds total. Three, two, and go. Pivoting on that back toe. Keeping core engaged. Keeping shoulders back as well, so not protruding them way forward as we pass, just keeping good posture throughout. Good job, guys. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and time. Very good. Next exercise on the floor, it is a push-up variation. Knees or toes, whatever works for you. If you want, Let's bring one dumbbell with us. 
right at about our belly level. So if we're doing our push-ups right here, it's at just around where the belly is. We're having hands underneath the shoulders. We're gonna try to do a push-up from here and then take this weight, move it to the other side. Push up and move. If you need to just bend a little bit, that's totally fine. Do what works for you. Starting this in three, two, and go. 40 seconds total. Prioritizing good form here with shoulders down away from the ears, core contracted. With long spine, so head is not protruding forward. Good job, guys. Ten seconds remaining. Working core and chest and triceps here. Three, two, and time. Very good. All right, roll up to standing. Head is the last thing to come up. Using one dumbbell, we're stepping to the side. Toes straight ahead and pressing forward. Step together, other side, press ahead. All right, let's start that in three, two, and go. If you don't have a lot of space, you can do all of them on one side. I'll tell you when the halfway point is and then do all of them on the other side. All right, halfway through, 20 more seconds. Just shoulder height with us. You choose the depth as always. Three, two, and time. Very good. All right, put the weight down. Going into round number two of our first circuit. This is our rotation chest pass. Starting in three, two, and go. We've got this. 40 seconds total. Again, as you turn and pass that ball, that imaginary ball, your core is tight. Pivoting on the toe. Lifting the heel. That'll allow you to get that range. Ten seconds. Good job, guys. Three, two, and time. Awesome. Into our push-ups with or without the dumbbell transfer. Starting in three, two, and go. Again, knees or toes, you choose the depth. It's okay if it's not very deep. I'd rather you have good form and not go very deep than have bad form and go all the way down or closer to the floor. Halfway through, 20 more seconds. Great job, guys. Five seconds. Three, two, and time. Very good. All right, roll up to standing. Head is the last thing to come up. We have our side-to-side -side lunges with the press ahead. Three, two, and go. Again, I'll tell you when we're at the halfway point if you're doing them all on one side because of space. Right, there's the halfway point, 20 more seconds. Five seconds, three, two, and time. Well done, guys. All right, last round through this circuit. Going back to our chest press in three, two, and go. 40 seconds. Just 
Try to make the pass powerful, like you actually are passing a ball. Powerful but controlled, that's the goal. Fifteen more seconds. Three, two, and time. Ooh, push ups. With or without the dumbbell, starting in three, two, and go. Forty seconds. Last time we're doing this move. Way to stick with it, guys. We'll have a break after the circuit. Ten seconds. Three, two, and time. All right, come up to standing and side lunge and press in three, two, and go. Oh, I didn't tell you the halfway point. We have 15 seconds left. <laughs> Sorry guys, if you're doing them on one side. Three, two, and time. Very good. Ooh. All right, well done. First circuit down, feel free to drink water. And we will get started in just a minute. I'll go ahead and preview the first move of the second circuit. So, it is a skater. So skater, at its most basic form, is just stepping one leg behind the other, just like this. Now you'll see other variations of a skater where you're jumping and reaching down, keeping chest lifted, that is an option, but we'll go anywhere between those two versions, but we'll add a reach overhead. So you can reach here, just stepping one leg behind the other, or you can really jump with it and come down like this. Totally up to you. All right, we're gonna get started with that in five seconds. 40 seconds total, three, two, and go. Try to keep the chest lifted. to come a little bit past the top of your mat for this move. I'll show you why. So this exercise is a plank, and then we're walking the feet back four steps, and then four steps forward. So this is to work the lats as well as the core. Put your knees down when you need to, no problem. 40 seconds total, starting in three, two, and go. Just go at your own pace, four steps back, and four steps forward. The hands are separate, not clasped. And I like to put my palms down. Ooh. Okay. 
Again, you can go on your knees if you need to. You would still be working the core. And the back. 10 seconds remaining. Ooh. Three, two, and time. Well done, guys. All right, roll up to standing. Very good. One dumbbell for the next move. We have a squat and step rotate. So it's kind of like the chest pass we were doing earlier. We're just adding a dumbbell to it. All right, and we're keeping it just nice and controlled. No, you don't have to do any power or fast speed or anything like that. All right, starting in three, two, and go. So squat in the middle and then press to the side. If you want to do this without the dumbbell, of course you may. You choose the depth of the squat, just focus on form, toes straight ahead, knees and toes in line. Engaging the glutes for that squat. Ten seconds. Three, two, and time. Well done. Okay. Let's put the weight down. Going back to our first exercise. This is our skater with our arms coming overhead. Starting in three, two, and go. Stepping or jumping, it's up to you. You can also do kind of an in-between where you're stepping, but there's a little bit of lift to it. Halfway through. Three, two, and time. Ooh. Very good. All right, onto the mat. Forearm plank, stepping the feet back four times and forward four times. Here we go. Go ahead and start when you're ready. Of course, the farther back you step, the more challenging it will be for your lats. Do what works. Ten seconds remaining. Three, two, and time. Whew. All right, guys. Rolling up to standing. Here's where I start. Dripping a little bit of sweat. All right, picking up our dumbbell. This is our squat and chest pass in three, two, and go. Controlled throughout this move. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and time. Awesome job, guys. Okay, put that weight down. One more round. Starting with our skaters. In three, two, and go. We've got this. Again, last time we do this move. Keeping core engaged, keeping shoulders relaxed, even as those arms come up overhead. More than halfway through, 
about 15 seconds. Five, three, two, and time. Ooh. All right, coming to the floor, forearm plank with our steps back, starting in three, two, and go. Make sure the core is engaged, glutes are engaged, your back is not sagging. Twenty more seconds, we can do it. Three, two, and time. Whew. All right, roll up to standing. We have our squat and rotation. Starting in three, two, and go. This is a great time to practice good posture because a lot of us have a tendency to kind of lose the posture as we reach the arms forward. So we want to keep everything nice and tight in the core, glutes, seconds. Three, two, and time. Excellent job. All right, you can put the weight down. You can take a rest break. Two circuits down, two more to go. Well done, guys. Okay, I'm gonna dab off some of my sweat. And then I'll show you next move. All right, so next move is a front kick and a back kick. So this can be challenging for a lot of people. The basic way to think about this is that you're just lifting the knee and then you're extending the leg. All right, so and it doesn't have to be high. It's okay if it's just right here, if that's what is good for you. So. We're gonna do two front kicks, and then we're gonna hinge and try to do two back kicks. And again here, it's okay if it's low. All right, we're gonna start that in 10 seconds. So two front kicks, two back kicks. Just watch your surroundings, starting in three, two, and go. And hinge back. I better face this way back. Balance, cardio, flexibility. That away, guys. About ten seconds remaining. Three, two, and time. Good job. Ooh. Okay, next move. Ah, yes, okay. So this one's another kind of challenging one. So coming into our pike position, your options are just a pike to a high plank, just alternating between those, and then putting the knees down when you need to. You can add on with a reach up with one arm as you lift the hips. And then the third option is reach up and reach forward, reach up and down, reach up, reach forward, reach up, reach down. That third version is very challenging, okay? So just take your time, 
getting there, but let's get started in five seconds. 40 seconds total, three, two, and go. Remember, you can just do the pike and the plank, pressing those palms into the floor. I'll do the next version where I'm lifting one arm as my hips lift. And then if you do want to do the other version, I'll show that now. It's up, forward, up, and down, up, forward, up, and down. So you're changing arms every other pike. Five seconds. Three, two, and time. Ooh, very good. All right, rolling up to standing. Picking up two dumbbells. Here we're going into a staggered stance position with both toes facing forward, something like this. Bending at the elbows and then tricep extension here. Adding on from there, we're gonna just change legs by stepping to the side. I'll do that from this angle. All right, keep a flat back. No, no hunching over like that, okay? Three, two, and go. Try to keep your elbows up so you're not swinging the arms forward and back. I'll do this angle as well so you see my elbows are kind of staying in the same spot. I'm, I'm not doing this. This is not what we're doing, okay? I'm keeping elbows back and just extending to work those triceps. My back is flat. If it's too confusing with the step, you can just do it without. You can just hold the position. Whew, all right, five seconds, three, two, and time. Very good. Whew. All right, you can put your weights down. We're going back to our kicks. Starting in three, two, and go. It's front, front, back, back. You choose the height. Remember, it, the kick, the front kick is knee lift and then extend the leg. That away, guys. About 10 more seconds. Three, two, and time. Very good, all right. Pike and plank, starting in three, two, and go. Remember your options. I'll start with just the pike and plank. And then I'll start doing the arm lift. We're working core and shoulders here. And then if you want to add on, I'm showing the third version. Make sure you can keep your hips facing toward the floor if you're doing this version. Five seconds. Three, two, and time. Ooh. Very good. Roll up to standing. We have two dumbbells for our tricep extensions. Starting in three, two, and go. 40 seconds. Another pointer here is that you want to keep your neck in line with the rest of your spine. So I'll show from the side. So you're, you can think about keeping your chin back, like if you're doing a double chin and exaggerating that alignment. Because the alternative that's not good is that people stick there. We don't want to do that, okay? It's a nice long spine. You can think about double chin and then just relax it a little bit and you should be good. 
All right, we have 10 seconds remaining. Three, two, and time. Ooh, okay, one more round. Front kick, front kick, back kick, back kick. Starting in three, two, and go. We'll face this way this time. I know those back kicks are pretty awkward if you haven't done them before, and even if you have done them before, but just do your best. Ten seconds remaining. Three, two, and time. Oh, all right. Pike to plank, starting in three, two, and go. I'll add on with the various versions. Seconds remaining. Three, two, and time. Walk the hands back and roll up to standing. Two dumbbells, triceps extension, starting in three, two, and go. Take a break after this. Great job, guys. Way to stick with it. Ooh, really challenging. Just 10 seconds remaining. Three, two, and time. All right, put your weights down. Take a rest break. We have just one more circuit and then we cool down. All right, I'll dab some sweat again. All right. First move here, we have a squat and a knee lift. That's the first version. You might wobble like I just did. So squat, knee lift, and then a lunge and knee lift. So squat, knee, lunge, knee. Now you can modify this. You can go just down here and then smaller lift. You can step down before the rear lunge. Whatever works for you, we'll do 20 seconds per side. And again, it's uh, squat, knee, lunge, knee. All right, let's start in five seconds, 40 seconds total. Three, two, and squat, knee, lunge, knee. Try to have your toes straight ahead. And as always, you choose the depth of the squat and of the lunge. Five more seconds on this side. Three, two, switch sides. Squat, knee, lunge, knee. And you don't have to go at the same pace as I am going. Five more seconds. Three, two, and time. Awesome. Okay, next move, balance. So, some more balance. We're trying to stand on one leg, and then the other leg is tapping front, side, and back. 
So we're trying to reach as far as we can to tap and then tap and then tap. Now, you can vary the amount of balance you have to do here. You can keep the foot off the floor. You can just tap in front, whatever, as always, whatever works for you, that's the, that's the goal. All right, we'll do 20 seconds per side, starting in three, two, and go. So working on knee stability and leg strength here, as well as ankle stability and balance. And we will all wobble, you just saw me wobble. That means we're getting better because we're challenging ourselves. You can do whatever you want with your arms. Three, two, and switch sides, reaching front. And side, how far can you go? And back, and side. Five seconds, three, two, and time. Very good. All right, two dumbbells. We're doing curtsy lunge. So stepping one leg behind the other, bending the knees, and overhead press. So curtsy lunge and overhead press. I'm starting with my palms facing my chest for this curtsy lunge. And then as I stand up, I'm pressing them over my shoulders. All right. 40 seconds, starting in three, two, and go. If you need to put down the weights, you are allowed to do that. Keeping core engaged here as well. No arching of the back as you reach overhead everything nice and tight through the core. 10 more seconds. Three, two, and time. Ooh, okay. Put the weights down. Really working legs this round, okay? Or this circuit. Going back to our squat, knee lift, lunge, yep. knee lift. In yep. three, two, and go. Five seconds on this side. Three, two, switch sides. Three, two, and time. Next move, balance. Front side back, starting in three, two, and go. You can think about there being an imaginary circle painted on the floor around you, and you're trying to reach the edges with the foot. Five more seconds on this side. Three, two, and switch sides. Front, side, back, side. Very good. Five more seconds. Three, two, and time. Very good. Okay, curtsy lunges. And overhead press, starting in three, ooh, two, and go. We've got this. Way to stick with it, guys. Working shoulders and legs here. We're also working biceps.
10 seconds remaining. Three, two, and time. All right, guys, last round. We've got this. Putting the weights down. We have our squat, lunge, squat, knee lift, lunge, knee lift. Starting in three, two, and go. Go at your own pace. Five more seconds on this side. Three, two, switch sides. Keep chest lifted on the squat. Five seconds on this side. Three, two, very good. All right, front side back, tapping. Here we go, three, two, we've got this. Maybe try to reach just ever so slightly farther on this last round. Hopefully you can feel your glutes working, your quadriceps working. Ready to switch in three, two, switch. Other side. Five seconds. Three, two, and time. Curtsy lunge. Last move, then we cool down. Starting in three, two, and go. Finishing strong. Core super tight. Halfway there, 20 more seconds. Pressing all the way up over the shoulders. Three, two, and time. Well done, guys. All right. Putting the weights down, just stretching out, starting with Half stretch, heel pressing into the floor behind us. Changing sides. Hamstring stretch, heel down, toe lifted, flat back. Other side. Hip flexor stretch, tucking the hips underneath our body and almost like we're scooping with our abdomen, engaging glutes, engaging core, feeling the stretch in the hip flexors. Same thing on the other side. And then clasping hands overhead. Leaning to the side, keeping the core tight, feeling a stretch along the side of the body, right along here. Reset to the center, other side. And back to the center, and we are done. Well done, guys. Great job showing up. I'll see you next time.